So let's go to the Jeremiah This was in my mind all week long. But after the movie, it's a different meaning comes up. <coughs> so Jeremiah chapter 29. 29 11 was on my bedroom wall and living room and computer. I have to the screen. Jeremiah 29 is there. When we came down to stamps, my mother is all the same as this frame of this flower brothers. About 20 of them. Just put every corner of the house. So we did. So we did, and read that word by word. Oh, I know the thought that I think towards you that says the Lord, salt of peace, again. We come upon all these things. So many changes in our life. So many things in our lives, but still the Lord Almighty, my Savior, is always my Son. So, Jeremiah 29, verse 8. For that says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let know your prophet. That divide to be in the midst of you, deceive you, neither of your dreams, which you call to be dreams. For they prophesy also unto you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. For thus says the Lord, that after seventy years be accomplished in at the Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you, in causing you to return to this place. For I know the soul that I think towards you, that says the Lord, so of peace and not of evil, to give you the expected Then shall he call upon me, and he shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And he shall seek me and find me, when he shall search me for me with all your heart. I put the title as I will hearken unto you. It is so much horror to come up. Hearken. We never use that, but it's some different meaning for us. <coughs> Then you will call upon me and come and pray unto me. And I will listen to you. I will listen to you. You use the cell phone and say, Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Remember those days you don't have a service around? And let me go out outside. Can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? But as my teacher said, are you listening to what I'm saying? That's a different thing. The Lord is near. 
if the Lord is near, why these 70 years of suffering come through the God's people? But you disobey, just like Gomer, just like me, when I didn't know what is a plan, they just scatter around. But my gracious Lord, He never pull up this my plan and throw in the dump because I disobey. Because I stray. No. His word was always, always there. This NIV version, it said, For I know the plan I have for you, the Christ. Prosper you and your to harm you, the plan to give you the hope. Give you the hope in the future. This is the plan I made it for you. And I will never change because, come on. Hosea prayed and prayed after the Gomer left him and prayed, why I have to suffer? I am preaching your message day after day. People do not listen. Then why I have to preach? Even my wife left. Why I have to preach? What's I have said? All of a sudden, what is unconditional love means? It's not depend on what I am. But the God love is poor to me. Same thing happened on the book of Luke, ending part of the book of Luke, chapter 24. Two men are walking toward the Amos. And they were so disappointed, they were so sad because of this Jesus of Nazareth. And so this is the prophet, this is the one to destroy the Roman Empire, this is the one to get to the Israel, to the kingdom. Died. And the Roman soldier stole the dead body. How could it happen? And all of a sudden, Jesus uh, joined. Joined them to join the conversation. What's going on? You didn't know what happened in Jerusalem. You were in the Jerusalem. You should know last three days what is going on. Verse 25, Jesus said to them, How foolish you are. How slow to believe all the prophet had spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory. And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all scripture <coughs> concerning this. So as they approached the village of which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going far. But they urged him to strongly stay with us, for it is nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave that, broke it, and began to give it to them. Verse 31. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. Then their eyes are open. They recognize. 
I had the old preacher say, those two guys that must be Baptists. When they start eating, they got the meaning that comes out. I don't know, they're eating fried chicken or oh, what? That's part of the lifestyle. But then they recognize Jesus Christ. Now listen, Jesus is our side every moment of our life. I listen to the Kayla or Air One, one of four point three, eighty nine point three. I love those music. You turn it on. You know what? That waves are just everywhere. 100.5 all day at Magoya Station. You turn it off the radio, doesn't mean that wave is cut out. No, it's a wave is everywhere. All the sound, all the noise, all the music, all kind of country. Christian music, all gathered together, it's there. Can you hear it? No. Unless you tune in. You tune in. So you hear it. Last night, after the movie, I was so tired before the movie. <laughs> I was so tired after the movie, for sure. So I went back to the house. I just pulled in. And I noticed the truck, the cell phone line, not on. I left the cell phone in my office. I was kind of wrong. <laughs> I said, no, I'm going to leave it to the church. I can survive that fall. I can survive, but my daughter Ali cannot survive because <laughs> my fall, I don't know why, but she has to come back. Come back. I will try up there and uh, yeah. cell phone in my truck. Now phone is synced. My truck starts speaking. Got the phone. That sign comes up, which means we're in the same page. I saw the way that it said, are you synced with God? You know these two guys going to the end. They are overwhelmed about what was going on in the, their lives and don't know who was right beside. You know what I mean? The distance does not matter. You may not attend the whole church. You could not attend the whole church because you are sick, because you are in the nursing home, whatever that is. That doesn't mean Jesus Christ is Stay in the church. I cannot talk to him. But God is not that way. God will listen. I will hearken unto you, say the Lord. But what it says, if you seek my presence wholeheartedly, all your heart, you search me. Don't complain about neighbors. Don't complain about what, what's going on. No, your heart. Bring it to me. Think with me. Then you will hear my word. And I will listen to you.
that's not good. Gomer tried to protect herself with this jewelry, with this fine clothes, build her up with this material thing. And never ever listen to Uzziah. Her last word before she left was, You go as poor. <coughs> you are the one bringing the poor. The nation of prosperity. God will go a different way. And how Goma found that the value of the life. She was homeless. She was in the slave market. All the people were tied up. The same as a merchandise. And the Goma all of a sudden hear the voice said, I will buy her back. Fifteen pieces of silver. Here it is. Nobody was paying that. Way above all that. But the Hosea said, I need her. See the plan of God? God told Hosea, marry to this harlot. And the people were laughing at it. People were saying, you condemn the concubine and you live with concubine. How in the world? But the ending was, all the plan to finish up. Is that the easiest way? No. Was I had to pray so hard about Jesus Christ? He prayed so hard. His sweat changed to the blood. How hard is that? But he went through. So this plan of salvation was completed. But doesn't mean that was easy way to do. Same was here. Two men in the, on the way complain what was going on in this world and never ever notice this Jesus tried to tell them all things will work out. Luke 24 verse 31 again, then their eyes were opened and they recognized Jesus Christ. And Jesus disappeared from their side. Now they're not scared anymore. When he disappeared, what they said, next verse 32 said, they asked each other, were not our heart burning with us while he talked with us on the Lord and opened the scripture to us? That is it. If we are with Jesus Christ, we do not fear anything. Stay with Jesus Christ. And that is the word. I'm going to finish with this message. Psalm 145. Book of Psalms. This is a day crying out. 
Somebody told me Dave is a bipolar. High depressed. High depressed. If I were his life, lamp on my life, and praising God, I'm scared. Oh God Almighty, I wish you still I'm scared. Again and again comes up. But no matter what, God is with them. Psalm 145, verse 17. Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. And the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. Do you know he's writing this song? Not in his palace. He wrote this song in the caves, in the cold dungeon. Hide from the enemy. Hide from his life. But still praising God. Still trusting God. God will save. righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. Lord is near to all who call on him. All who call on him in truth. It's called on Jesus Christ. Oh, what is important in your life? Making money, good thing. Is it good thing? Okay thing. Making money is the one to use purpose of your life. Something got to change. Time is precious. And time with the Lord is to make the one to make a buy. Don't walk in the smoke without listening to the Lord. Jesus is with you and speaking right now as we sing this song. Let's all speak.